man. This poor soul is going to go into an endless loop. Oh my god! How's it going, everybody? Dragast here, and welcome to Happy Room. Now, this is a pretty interesting physics-based puzzler where we get to blow up clones of people. From what I understand, this is kind of like a weapons testing ground where we have clones up here. As you can see, this guy right here, he's a clone. He's not an actual human. He's a very accurate human. It's basically Westworld the game. And up top, you can see the things that I have to do to obtain money from killing this guy. So, for example, right now, I got a mine combo that I need to do. So I need to explode three mines in the in a row. So mines are $75 each. We have 527 right now. I have one mine on the ground already. I did a little bit of the tutorial. So I'm going to plant two more right beside this thing and hopefully this guy will land on all three mines and we will successfully do this. It doesn't look like that's the case unfortunately. <laughs> There we go, that's how you do it. So I just tried to reset it once again and it totally did it just fine. So yeah, this is kind of how this game is. It's just kind of like an open-ended puzzle game where you get to blow up people and that's really the perfect thing for me. Now you can see this top bar, this is actually the weapons that we get to unlock as we progress through the game. So obviously right now it's pretty basic but it's gonna get much more complex really quickly here. So we got melee weapons, fire guns, miscellaneous. Ooh, we got some jumpers we can play with. That sounds fun too. All right, so I'm just going to focus on the quest lines here. First of all, we have to de deal 500 damage. Oh, I didn't show you that, by the way. So there is a damage indicator here. We can click this whenever we want. It will tell us how much damage happened to him the last time. So we did 279 last time with three mines. So we got to do a lot more damage than that. So let's go a little more crazy here. We'll just drop a few more mines down just for funsies. And we'll see what happens here when this guy falls. He he's he got to hit quite a few of them. And no, he went right in the corner. Come on. Oh, there we go. Got him a little bit. Not enough to deal 500 damage, though. So we're just going to reset this, actually. And you know what? I am going to clear the board. We have to clear the screen anyways for one of these. So let's do that and get that money right away. And then we actually get all our money back. I don't know if they take a percentage of what you use. I doubt it. So now we can retry some different things. So we got those jumper pads here. Let's see. What if we make him go to the left here and then just mine the hell out of the left-hand side? That way... We foot should for sure be able to uh, do quite a bit of damage here. So we'll try that out. See how this does. We still got 275 bucks. Maybe I should have put a few more down, but this might do. Yeah, this, this is feeling good. Okay, he's going all the way to the other side now. Still wasn't enough to kill him, unfortunately. All right, well, we have the money to spend. So just in case he decides to go over here, let's drop a few of these down and let's hit play once again. He's going to go way to the left and he's going to hopefully bounce around here for a while. 500 damage. You actually can see it go as he is being hit, which is pretty cool. There we go, and we hit the big 500. Holy shit, look at this combo, this is awesome. So yeah, a lot of this game is basically combo based. Oh, oh, he's gonna hit the mine, <laughs> yes! We might hit every one here. No, unfortunately he's not gonna get that last one. But a lot of this is combo based mechanics, so the more you can hit them, obviously the higher the score you're gonna get. So, we got a lot of money that time, we did a lot of, um, of the quests we have to do, and we also unlocked the crossbow. What, what else do we have here? What is this? Oh, we also got spikes. That's great. Now, we can uh, we can attach spikes to the roof. That might be fun. Let's do uh, a couple of those. Uh, throw dummy on a spikes with jumper three times. Oh, shit. Okay, I may, maybe I should have made this a bit more complex. Let's just try this out. Hopefully, he hits the spike here. Oh, God, he got hit a little bit. Not too much. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, and he is getting hit by everything right now. You know what? Doesn't even matter that I'm not doing any of the quests because we're getting money by doing this anyways. So there we go. Let's uh, reset this and figure out which one we want to do next. Fully used two spikes. Let's try that one. That one sounds easy. So we're gonna go. We'll do something like we got lots of money right now. So we're just going to put some spikes on the roof here like crazy. And no, not not more spikes. We want we we want the jumper pad, and we want one that goes straight upwards. So hopefully he can stay in this kind of area here. We should be able to put down quite a few jumpers here. Uh, we're just gonna go all the way out here because well we have the money to do so. So let's just do that and there we go now this should last quite a while here this guy's gonna get spiked like crazy i wonder if he can get stuck on the spikes no it seems like he just slowly falls off them that is ridiculous and we're actually probably gonna get throw a dummy on spikes yeah we got that one as well hit a dummy with a jumper five times there we go we're doing a bunch of them right now this this is like a perfect setup for doing a bunch of these deal 1000 damage challenge accepted i don't think i'm gonna leave from this area oh 
Oh, that makes sense. So the jumpers have a bar, and they only last a certain amount of time. Or, you know, you could be in an endless loop of damage. All right, but that was good. We actually did quite a few of those. We got 380 bucks on top of all the, the things that we have at the bottom. So let me see. 15 arrows in dummy. Let's try that out. Because I got to assume he'll be hopping around for a while. So that should be fun. So we're going to put a crossbow. Oh, I have to attach it to the wall. So it's got a range all the way, it looks like, to the middle. So this is actually perfect. So we'll put that one there like that. We'll put that one there like that. And he should be in range basically the whole time. Here we go. Oh, it actually shoots him while he's stuck. That's perfect. Two arrows in the head. Great. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. This is this is, this is a fucking cool game, man. All right. Go away from that jump pad because we need to do another one here. Okay. It seems like the crossbow has one away. Uh, most of my spikes have has one away as well. But he's still going. Uh, I want to see if we can hit that 1,000 damage. I don't think we're going to do it this time. Uh, we might need a few more crossbows. We're, we're getting close, though. I mean, he's getting a lot of damage right now. Come on, one more good hit. Oh, it's actually ended, and yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. All right, so there we go. We got some more done. 15 arrows in dummy, 15 seconds of damage from the saws. Five crossbow shots while the dummy is on spikes. Okay, so we got the spikes thing set up, so we may as well just do that once again here. Uh, I got 80 more dollars. That's not enough to do anything. So we're just going to do this uh, number 11 really quickly here, because we should be able to do it quite easily. All right, this actually isn't working out because he gets stuck and every now and then he'll get shot with one. Oh, this is working better this time, uh, but he falls out so quickly. I think we actually got it this time. Come on. Oh, shit. We just need one more. Yes, there we go. That was actually, so it took me a couple tries, but I actually did end up getting it. Uh, I don't think we're going to get the 1,000 damage, so we're just going to stop right now because I do want to reset this. So let's delete everything here and do something else. I like the idea of 15 arrows in dummies, so we're going to go a bit crazier with the crossbows here. Uh, how much money do we got? Oh, we got lots of money. We're just gonna go have a nice crossbow time here. Okay, and we got 420 left, so what I'm gonna do is I'll put two of the jumpers on here. You know what, maybe... Okay, no, that should be good. And then we'll put the spikes at the top again so he gets stuck, because I do like that. It stops him, so it allows the uh, crossbows to actually aim a little better. So we'll try that out, see how this is. Here we go, come on. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much better with so many crossbows. 15 arrows in dummy. Oh, we got this thing. We dealed a thousand damage as well. This is this is just fantastic. Okay, so unfortunately these guys are out of range and those ones were all used up. But we did get the two things done. Guess you could say that was unlucky number 13. That's pretty damn great. All right, new record. Okay, how much how much damage did I do that time? I'm just curious. 1,150, not too bad. All right, but now we have saws. I didn't even notice this. I wonder if we unlocked that before. So we're going to delete everything again because I know we need 10 teleportation shoot, 7 shotgun shells, 15 seconds of damage from the saws. Okay, we're going to try that out so we can put these anywhere we want. So we're just going to have, like, saw plinko here. We'll see... We'll see how good this... Can I actually rotate this? Oh, no. It, I think it only goes... I wonder if there is a way to rotate it. Doesn't even matter. We'll just try this out. We're just going to go... You know what? We're just going to go all saws right now. That, that, that That's a fun-filled family time. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, 15 seconds of damage from the saws. So I just need to sit at the bottom here. Uh, I need more time than that, though. So I think I need to put some bouncers at the bottom because that saw stops. Oh, there you go. So you can rotate these to uh, turn the direction you want. So if we can make like a... A little saw triangle here and get him stuck in it he might bounce around that should be fun so we're gonna do yeah we're just gonna do like a little blender type style here all right we'll try something like that let's just actually get rid of some of these higher ones because we're not going to probably need them you know what let's put that final one on just in case here i feel like he could possibly pop out and then in the bottom just in case he does fall all the way through we're going to put a jumper right down well we have lots of money so let's just go like this just to be sure and then we'll fill it up with some more saws we'll put a saw over here we'll make sure he gets stuck in there and we'll put two saws there and just rotate these all right so this should be good spent all my money here and yes exactly what i expected him to get stuck at the bottom and hopefully this will do more or less 15 seconds of damage we actually might need to spread this out a little bit 15 seconds of damage is still going it's still going oh yeah we, we totally got this he's not doing he's not getting too much damage but these final saws are going to give me it all right so there we go all the saws have stopped uh that went better than expected actually so we're gonna delete those travel 20 meters on saws that'd be kind of fun a thousand minigun damage did i get that unlock yet no unfortunately we still gotta wait for that there, there, there's a lot that we're getting here uh that we haven't unlocked yet so i'm assuming you can do these if you want but you don't need to I do like the idea of doing these, though, so I'm actually going to stick with uh, trying to do as many of these as possible. So we need to travel 15 meters on saws. So what I'm going to do is kind of 
Uh, you know what? Actually, let's go a little less crazy than that because I do need a lot of space. 15, or sorry, 20 meters is uh, pretty damn far. So I'm just going to kind of make him slide down here. I don't want him to go too far down. And then hopefully at the end here, yeah, we'll put a blind down here as much as we can. And then hopefully this will be 20 meters worth of saws. So there we go. Uh, we'll just have to rotate this the other way. I have no idea if this is 20 meters or not. It actually doesn't look like 20 meters, but we'll find out. Let's try it out. And he went the other way. Good, good, good job. Good job. All right, we'll just put this one a bit further over that way. Let's try that again here. And I want you to go, yes, go this way. Get your leg, oh, God damn it! it's stuck inside the damn thing. All right, obviously this guy's a little finicky, so we need to uh, realign these a little bit. That should be good. Let's try that out, see what happens here. There we go, that's what I wanted. Keep going, keep 20 meters, this is, oh God, we're not, we're not gonna have enough money, unfortunately. Like that was 20, that was all my money and we only made it probably 18. 17 meters All right new plan. I'm hoping his leg will fall through these and actually get hit to the left Because oh shit, that's not that's, okay. Let's try again here I feel like okay if we spread these out a little bit I just I just got to make his leg hit it because I think that's all he needs to hit to the left So this is a pad that throws him to the left. So I'm hoping If I do this right. Oh come on. It's so close. Is this is this seriously not gonna work? Let's try again here. Come on. Come on luck. Oh, uh, uh, come on. Your butt is almost there. Okay. Clearly, oh, of course it works the moment I stop it. God damn it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about now. Come back. Uh, oh, 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 oh. His hat fell off. He, his legs are twisted. That's the problem right now. Travel 20 meters. It's actually working though. Oh my God, did they stop? Are you serious? So this 20 meters isn't accurate at all because he was stuck there and it was still considering him traveling. All right, new plan, because nothing seems to be working out with these saws. So I'm hoping he goes up the conveyor and then falls and then gets stuck inside of it. And then we can kind of like glitch him out. So again, every fucking time I want him to go a different way. All right, you know what? I have money, so we're just going to put another saw here to make sure that motherfucker goes this way. Okay, there we go. Yep, go up the freaking thing. Thank you. Just got to make it all the way up this. Okay, maybe it's a bit too much of an incline. We're still, we're still getting distance, but the saws have turned off unfortunately god damn this is way of, of course the one i think will be easy is the one that's difficult all right kind of back to my first strategy here i'm gonna try this again and just see oh my god every time i don't learn i, I don't learn that he likes to fall the other way uh when this happens so actually i'm out of money so let's just put this up here to make sure he doesn't go that way let's try again here oh, oh there we go and keep rolling this way. Come on. Oh, god damn it. He's gonna get stuck again. No, we're good. We're good this time. All right, fall down. And then we just... Oh, my god. It's gonna be so close again. Are you serious? Why Why does this one not want to work for me? All right, expanded everything out again. And actually, also, you know what? We're gonna push that one backwards. So, hopefully, he gets stuck here. And we can do the final grind. And... Come on. Come on. Get those feet unstuck. Oh, god. The problem is, every time, it's a little bit different. There we go. <laughs> that... that that's one way to do it, and oh, we so got this this time. If he doesn't get stuck, oh no, come on, get your little head out of there, and yes, finally, holy shit, that was difficult, we did it. All right, so there we go. Did we unlock anything yet? I don't think we did, unfortunately, so now we gotta do a little bit of death grinding to uh, get to the next level here, so what if we, how much are the mines, 75? Okay, we're just going to, we're just gonna restart and do something totally different, because I've, I've seen enough saws for right now. All right, so we're just gonna do another crossbow thing here since we don't have too much unlocked just yet And we're just going to try and get as much money as possible. So how are we doing for money? We're doing just fine for money over here Let's add some mines as well things. We haven't seen in a while. Can I add mines to the like roof? No, I can't unfortunately that kind of sucks All right, but we'll try this out. See how good we can do. We got lots of crossbows and stuff there Oh, oh coming back <laughs> And these mines are gonna get good use, I think. All right, all the crossbows are done. We got a few spikes left. I'm hoping this guy comes over to the uh, mines. There we go. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get back over here. Oh, oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. We finally hit the mines and we got a new weapon called teleporting. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, pretty interesting here. So let's delete everything and let's see. 10 teleportations. Okay, we can do that. 
Okay, so now we have a teleporter, and it's just like Portal, I'm thinking. So we put one here, we put one here, and we'll see if this works with 10 teleportations. I'm assuming this has a limit as well. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh my god, he gets, he gets faster and faster every time. <laughs> there we go, we got the 10 teleportations. Can this just keep going? Because he was damaging himself, but... No, I think it, it. I think it's endless, which is weird because nothing else has been endless in this game. I mean, yeah, you can actually speed up time here. You can slow down time. You can pause time. This is this is a really good game. Uh, we're just gonna go to two here and see what happens. He does get damaged every now and then, as you can see. It's only one damage though. All right, so we get the idea. We can do some teleporting now. We can play some portal, if you will. Uh, that should be fun. What else do we have to do? Place a weapon on a block. Well, I don't have blocks yet. I really wish it didn't give me the things if I didn't have them yet. What does this do? Uh, upgrades. Oh, you can upgrade things? Oh my god. So yes, each thing has upgrades. It allows you to place mines on the center wall. Uh, we can check the crossbow. It allows you to place crossbows on ceiling and floor. 50% more ammo. Yes, crossbow is my favorite thing so far. So we're going to upgrade that. Now, does it say... Oh, that's how... Okay, so that makes sense. The euros... Or pounds, rather, are your upgrade points. That's a little confusing because there's dollars in this game as well. So we can upgrade three more times here. So do I want to upgrade my jumper? Explodes when ran out of energy. What? Oh, it explodes when it depletes. Okay, yeah, I, I like the idea of that. Well, we'll do that. Allows you to place jumpers on walls and ceilings. I don't think we really need that just yet. I'm curious what the spikes do. Allows you to place spikes on floor and walls. Uh, I guess it would be cool on the floor, but I don't really need that just yet. So I'm actually going to keep the other two in case we get stumped on any of these quests so I can upgrade certain things. All right, let's play with some of these portals, though, because we can put them wherever we want. So, for example, if we want him to fall and then hit this wall for whatever, or, sorry, be protruded out of this wall for whatever reason, that should be fun. Okay, so we, he lands right around here. So if we put, did I, up, I forget if I upgraded my spikes to be put on the ground. No, I didn't, unfortunately. But we do know that I upgraded my crossbow, so if we put a bunch of crossbows on this wall, and then I guess we could put some, like, bouncers and spikes on the roof, that should be fun. Again, there's not much we can do just yet, we got lots of unlocks to get, so uh, we're just doing basically what we can for right now. Alright, and just in case he actually kind of flops into this thing, I'm gonna put something over here, so I think I'll put a jumper over here with some spikes on the roof, just in case it happens. I don't know if it will or not, but it should be fun to try it. Also, uh, I guess we'll put a... I mean, we have more money, so we'll just put a crossbow over here as well. Why the hell not? And, of course, we need mines. Mines everywhere, so we're just gonna put some random mines around. Now, this should be a lot of damage, because basically there's no place where he can just chill. There's gonna be at least one explosion at every spot he can lay at. So here we go, let's try this thing out. Going through the portal. Of course my crossbows miss everything, and that's why the spikes are useful. Because uh, the crossbows won't miss then. Oh my god, this guy. This poor, this poor soul, man. <laughs> god. And also, the jumpers, I think I upgraded them to explode uh, once they deplete, right? So, yeah, th this should be a lot of freaking damage. Alright, spikes are... I think out, more or less, so we got just the jumpers to deal with now. That jumper's depleted. Oh, come on, fall! Fall, it's gonna explode! Oh, I, I, th I think he's gonna land on it for it to explode. Of course he leaves now, uh, but he's coming back, and there's the explosion. All right, that, that was the most damage yet. We still got some things on the grounds, though. I'm hoping maybe he can fall in that portal. He's really close. Let's uh, speed up time here and see what happens. No, he's just kind of... I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's, like, wobbling. Poor number 44. All right, so we're going to stop that. And uh, what else do we need to do here? All right, let's actually use these upgrade points because the more I upgrade, the better. So spikes allows you to play spikes on floors and walls. I don't really want that. I want... Well, I've upgraded the crossbow. Mines. What, what can mines do? Allows to place mines on the center wall. Okay, we'll upgrade that. Uh, what does this do? Allows you to place mines on walls and ceilings. Okay, I don't need that just yet. Teleporter. Five old friends are back. What has happened to them? What? I'm, I'm, I'm too curious. Let, let, let's check it out. All right, we're just going to keep this same layout here because it actually worked quite well. And we'll put a mine. Oh, yeah, we can put the mine anywhere now. Oh, the back wall. That makes sense. Okay, so we're going to... We'll just put one there. Why the hell not? Let's see what happens here. And... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh yes. More portal references. That is so awesome. I love that upgrade. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can do a lot of damage here because it's looking like... I mean, basically, wherever he goes, he gets hit. This is great. There we go. That exploded. And get back into the portal. I wonder if you go into the portal again if he'll be attacked again. That'd be interesting to find out. New weapon shotgun. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're getting into the fun firearms. 
All right, that one exploded, I think. Oh, there we go. New weapon minigun. Look at that. We got two upgrades in one run here. Okay, so this one obviously went a bit better. All right, so there we go. How, how, how did we do? I think we had 2,000-something damage there. Yeah, 2,202. Now, I am seeing that there's, like, a limitation to the amount that each limb can take, so I wonder if you can actually, like, fully kill one of these things i that that would be the ultimate goal for me to make all these bars go down that would be amazing all right so we got the shotguns now we got a minigun we got all the fun stuff to try out so well, let's try out that really quickly so we got shotguns miniguns oh it only costs 240 bucks for a minigun damn son all right let's try oh these things don't have a very long range at all okay so i'm assuming these things do a shitload of damage though so we're gonna put them at the bottom that way you can see the radius it isn't very large so if they he lands down here he's basically dead he's screwed now the shotguns i gotta assume they got a small range as well yes unfortunately Ah, uh, so what do we want to do here? I, I think i should have upgraded the spikes because the spikes are very useful when you're dealing with projectiles all right, so obviously we need to get to each side, so we're just going to put jumpers that go left and right, right in the middle here, and hopefully he'll focus on hitting these. We'll put two on each side, and that way we can focus on keeping him to the sides as much as possible in the range of the weapons. And then I didn't even think about this, but we can put a portal, I guess right here, for example, and... Can we put two? No, you can only put one portal, so that's unfortunate. But if he does fall into that portal, he'll be into a loop, and he'll have to deal with everything on this side. So we're going to add all our shotguns over here as well. How much money we got? We got lots of money, so we're going to put a few shotguns over here. I wonder how the recoil is on these. Uh, and then over on the other side, let's just do a minefield over here. I'm hoping he doesn't go over here, so... Uh, that's kind of the goal here. So, 405, we still got a little bit of money left, so... Yeah, let's just throw a shotgun on this wall over here, or two. How about that? Let's try this thing out. Here we go. Oh, of course he goes to the other wall. But yes, the recoil is real as I expected. And of course, he's getting out of range every now and then, but... God damn, this is awesome. Look at this poor motherfucker. Okay, mo most of my guns are in fact gone now. Deal 2,000 damage. We're not even close to 2,000 yet. All right, he's not looking too good, but we did 1975. Okay, I, I, I don't get it. Deal 2,000 damage, yet it says 1975, and look how much of the bar it has. All right, so let's try that again. We actually earned enough for another one as well. I don't know. I, the shotguns, they give you so much recoil, I think. Or maybe it's the miniguns. I have no idea. You know what? We're just going to try it here. We'll see what happens. There we go. All the way over to the other side, and this poor soul is going to go into an endless loop. Oh, my God. This ragdoll is the best. I mean, he's already at 2,200, so this is my highest yet, and these guns are just laying down the law. Hopefully, he can go to the other side now. That would be great. Uh, that thing's going to explode now if he lands on it again. Don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. It just keeps going. Now, we got a new weapon, Block B-15. I think it's... Where is he going now? This this upgrade to the portal was the best thing ever. All right, and I'm speeding up time because we're very close to another unlock. Like, I, I could just let this idle and seriously get everything, I think. <laughs> That's the one problem with this game. The portals you can definitely abuse. What the fuck was that? Okay, well, we hit 3,000. Okay, I'm not going to do that anymore because I feel like that's cheating. That's that That's not the fun part. You know what I'm saying? And we got a new block, B-15. So we're going to try this out really quickly here. I think this is just a block that you can stand him on, I think. Did we get a new weapon? Oh, yeah, we got a mace as well. Okay, so let's just put this here like that just to check him out, just to give a sneak peek because we're going to actually end this episode here. But the next episode, we're going to be playing with these things. So, yeah, that's just a block you can hold things on. And, of course, the maces hang from the roof and they can do some serious amounts of damage, as you can see. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Happy Room. Uh, I don't I, I don't know why they call it Happy Room. I mean, it's a Happy Room for me, but for this poor clone guy, yeah, he, he's not having a very good time. Not, not, not that he has any conscience anyways. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Happy Room. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. My God.